My family and I traveled to the Kodachrome Basin State Park in Utah. It's near Bryce Canyon and the boys who were 15 and 19 at the time really got a kick out of these calves that were just roaming around uh, in the basin. Um, that's what I'm using as my reference today and I will post those uh, down below where you can use them for reference if you want to do this later. I'm going to walk you through this one because there's a few things I've done that I want to point out. The angle that I just made, the horizon line, is more pronounced than what it actually is in the picture because when it, it's slightly angled, it can look like you just made a mistake. Now right there where the cow's butts are up above that line, the horizon line, I did that intentionally because I think that it, it, it needed to, to break that line. I'm using my pencil right there to get the angles. Um, great trick uh, when you're, you're trying to figure out the angle of one element to another element. And here I'm, I'm kind of laying in where the shadows are going, a little bit of the plants and stuff, just putting down basic outlines um, to figure out where, you know, what's going where. Here I'm giving that sky just a little bit of uh, color, texture, using a paper towel. You can use a stump but a, a crumpled up paper towel will work. Now I want the, the mountains and the background to recede. So I'm not darkening them as much as what you see in the photograph. I want them to be there as, um, you know, so you can tell where, where they are, uh, but I, I don't want them to be as prominent as they are in the photograph. So see how having that, the butt of that uh, cow stick up above that line helps you to, to focus on the cows. They really come, they pop forward. I just thought that straight line, well, it's an angled line, was kind of awkward in the background. So again, that's where artistic license comes in, just... Uh, Make those changes if it helps your composition. So again, just kind of uh, a lot of these calves are in shadow. So I'm just kind of uh, starting to now block in lights and darks in it. Trying to get those ears that the black cow hardly has any detail in the photograph. Now something I may show you at a different time, uh, what I did is I looked at one of the other cows and did a practice sketch of just the face of a cow. And, um, you know, before going in uh, to a deep dive on this one, now, right now, the outlines are showing up way too much. Like, I don't like the face <laughs> of that cow at all that I just did. But I'm going to be darkening that a lot. I try not to have a real obvious outline show, but this drawing is going to get much, much darker. And you're not going to really see those outlines like you are right now. It will get very dark and, um, you know, really high contrast and you're not going to have all those outlines. But for right now, I'm just using the outlines um, as boundaries, which they are, but just as boundaries for me to put that uh, shadowing in. 
It's so hard to show people my unfinished work because I really don't like the face of that cow. But just wait, it will get better. <laughs> okay, just a little bit of um, dirt and grass. There was a lot of uh, sage, wild sage growing out there. The boys got to pet these cows, and they really got a kick out of that. Now, I grew up on a farm. Well, I spent summers on my papa's farm, and uh, so I was really used to being around, you know, cows and chickens and, and all of that. But uh, my boys have grown up in suburbia, so they weren't really um, used to being around calves like this. So it was a it was a neat neat treat for them, and these calves were just uh, very curious. Now there were adult cows too; it was a whole herd, uh, but the adult cows didn't pay any attention to us whatsoever, including the huge bull, which I was happy about. Um, but these little calves were adorable, and this was in a state park, but I guess they were allowed to uh, graze in the in the state park. So now I'm really starting to darken uh, some of the shadows. I'm using uh, woodless pencils and I have an HB for you know very light outlines. I have uh, 4B, 6B, and 9B. And now, now that face is looking better. Not quite so embarrassing. That's been one of the hard parts about doing these lessons. Is, you know, you have to go through all the ugly parts. Um while you develop your drawings and paintings and sometimes that's hard to share but in this case I think it's important to show you where something starts and where it can finish I hope you've enjoyed this lesson, and I hope I've inspired you to get out a few of your snapshots and do the same. It is absolutely free for you to subscribe, so help out not only me, but all your favorite YouTube channels. Thank you.